I remember going to the mall with my girl and we went there to buy some stuff for me, for her and for her cousin because it was his birthday, right? So we went to Terranova at one point and I just tried to find something, some, no, some new accessories basically and we found like three scarves, right? So they were like different colors as well. And I was thinking of buying one because I never had any. So then I went to the cashier, right? And I was about to buy, right? I was about to pull out my card and buy. The cashier straight up told me that, you know, we have like two more for 11 euros, like a three pack basically. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it, right? I didn't even think anything of it. But the problem is that it was 100% polyester. So every single scarf was, had like a shit quality basically. I didn't realize that until I came home and my mom was telling me how shit it is, right? Because she went to, you know, wash it basically and you cannot throw it in a washing machine. So you have to wash it by hand. And it's even fucking harder, right? Especially because it left the residue, I don't know how the fuck that's called, basically like fluff. And it was annoying as fuck. And I thought like, oh, it's just gonna go after one wash. No, that's, that's like the problem. It didn't go away. So now I have like three scarves, which I don't use that much anyway. And I spent like 11 euros, which I could have spent like on anything else. But now whenever I'm going to a mall or somewhere to shop for some clothes, I'm going with a purpose. I'm going with a plan. Now I'm just doing things so much differently because I don't want to waste my fucking money on dumb shit. That's why I'll give you the secrets on how to shop more effectively and save up way more money. Subscribe right now before we start so that you can help this channel grow. If you're interested in a network of like-minded guys and you want to maximize your attractiveness, click the first link in the description to join our movement. I also have a free course in there to help you maximize your looks right now. So join in right now while it's still free. There are a lot of pussies out there just going to shop for clothes, right? And they don't even have a plan. They're just buying whatever they feel like looks good on them or whatever they feel like looks good in general, right? And they're just spending their money on dumb shit. And then they have like a whole wardrobe with like extra stuff which they don't even use anymore, which I've done before, by the way, right? The thing is that it's just some, such a waste of money where you could have literally spent that much, like all that money that you fucking wasted on shit. And you, could, you could have saved it up and spend it on much better clothes, like much more quality clothes. And that's the thing which do, a lot of people don't understand. It's not that it happens once. It happens so many fucking times and they don't just self-reflect. They don't look at themselves while they're shopping or whatever. And they're like, oh, you know, I could... You know, I could go without this shirt right here or this jacket right now because I have too many jackets, but I don't have enough of this stuff. They just keep doing the same thing over and over and they believe that they're getting better or they're just like fucking wasting money for no reason. That's why the first thing you should be doing before you go for shopping is to write down the stuff that you want on a list. So let's say, for example, your style right now is more masculine. So let's say right now you want a nice button up shirt with patterns and shit, right? You want a nice pair of shorts and a nice plain black t-shirt, right? So let's say you have those three things which you don't have in your wardrobe, but you want to buy. You write them down on either your notes app, Notion or whatever app you want, right? Or even on a piece of paper. And then you just take that, you go to the shops, right? You go whenever, whenever you want, and you buy the stuff that you actually need without wondering and trying to find something new to buy, which you feel like looks sexy and looks nice. Because the shops, like, all the stuff that they have, you know, hung up, basically, all the stuff that they're trying to advertise, they're doing it just because they want you to buy it, right? So if you're just gonna go there without a goal in the first place, and you're just gonna go for like shopping for fun, right? Which is not bad, but if you're actually trying to save up some money and not buy some unnecessary shit, it's much better for you to think about the stuff that you're going to buy before going there. Just think of this analogy of whenever you go to a store, right? Grocery shopping. You're not gonna go hungry, right? Because you're just gonna eat all the stuff there or you're just gonna buy some extra shit which you didn't need just because you were hungry and you wanted to buy something because it just looked nice. The point is that you avoid doing this because if you do, it's much easier for you to not be hungry, right? And go grocery shopping without spending extra money or buying shit that you, that may be even unhealthy for you. Because if you feel like you're just gonna go there 
and try to find something new, something nice to buy. It may not be even quality. And that's the thing. You should also research before going there, right? Whenever you're gonna go to a mall, right? Which is one of the best places to go because there are a lot of shops here and there. So you don't have to hop from shop to shop, right? It's much easier to walk from one shop to another. So what I would suggest is research whatever you want, a basic t-shirt that you want. What shop do you think has those t-shirts? Or like good quality t-shirts, right? So research that, find the shops, and if they are in your mall, whatever, right? Once you arrive, just go inside that shop straight away and try to buy it. Maybe put it on, right? Try it out and then buy it. Because that way, first of all, you're wasting way less time, way less money because you're not just trying to buy different clothes because they looked okay, but you could find something better. Before going to shop for clothes, what I would suggest for you to do is write down 10, 20, 30 things that you want and you have some money saved up, of course, before going. Because it's much better for you to spend like two, three hours at, like in one day and just buy everything that you need and then just not go again, right? For months. Rather than you going like once every week and just spending even more money as a result. That way you're wasting way less time. You're not developing a shopping addiction and you're wasting way less money. I remember actually going to the mall and the problem was that I went there without a goal, without nothing, right? And I just went to different shops, trying to find something that could look nice on me. But then I just didn't buy anything, right? Because I thought like, okay, I'm not, I don't need this, I don't need that. So then what did I actually need? Whenever I went back home, I was thinking, wait, I have everything but gym clothes which look nice on me, of course, right? Just like nice fitted gym clothes. I don't have those. They're all just like old clothes, which I use sometimes and they're baggy and they're shit, right? That's what I should buy. Not buy like the same t-shirts, the same jackets, especially like if it's, if especially if summer is coming up, there's no reason for me to buy winter clothes. So that's why I had to have a go before even going because then I would be searching for more specific clothes. And then, and, then, and then it would be much easier for me to find whatever I wanted. Lastly, spend more money on quality rather than quantity. Because whenever you're gonna be spending on quantity, as I said before about the scarves, you're just gonna have like three, four, five, however many shit scarves that you have in your wardrobe, which you may never even use again because they're so shit. If you spend like a little bit more maybe, but on one scarf, but it's like amazing quality, 100% cotton. It causes no problems. You can curl broke it easily. Like it goes with everything. Why not do that rather than spending some like the same amount of money on more, but shittier quality. Yeah, it would take longer, right? It would take longer for you to buy more clothes because if you're gonna buy like, rather than buying 20 clothes, you're gonna buy like three, four pieces each time because you know, they're expensive. Of course, it will take longer because you're spending money right now rather than on 20 pieces of clothing on three, four, five, but the quality is so much better and it's fucking worth it, bro, right? You may need like a few months more to save up more money to buy more clothes, but at the end, you're gonna be looking at your closet and you're gonna be thinking, fuck, everything I have in my wardrobe is good quality. I need it, right? And you're not going to be thinking that, oh, it's a waste of my money and I'm not going to wear it, this one and this one and this one. Because I've done it. And it's not the best thing you could do because you just have like shit clothes everywhere without, like you don't even have any use for them because everybody makes mistakes. I would suggest for you to sell those clothes, right? So whatever clothes you have that you're not using anymore or you find yourself avoiding them because you think that, oh, they're too baggy or they might not look good and you maybe wore them like once or twice it's much better for you to sell those clothes and buy one other piece of clothing, which is much more high quality, which you actually need. I hope I helped you with this video. Stop wasting time.